Hey there guys and welcome to the new LP. Some one person already guessed it in the Mortal Kombat vs DC Universe finale comments. But it is Soul Calibur 5. Yes, apart from having a kick-ass character creator, it also has a story mode, which I will LP for you now so that you may get a bit more understanding into the custom characters' movesets and stuff. Anyway, time for the prologue. So, General, what did I just witness? Well, basically, the ending to Soul Calibur 4, where series protagonist Siegfried killed Nightmare, the manifestation of the cursed sword Soul Edge, wielding the spirit sword Soul Calibur. It's a uh, pretty complicated backstory, maybe look it up on Wikipedia or something. But anyway, time for episode 1. <laughs> Flag. This is the flag of the Emperor that bestowed favors to the Graf. So, you serve Graf Dumas. And you must be the Malfested that are destroying this town. There's our protagonist, Patroclus. Yeah, it's an awkward name, but apparently he's Greek, so it's a normal name there. From what I've heard. And he wields a short sword and a shield. And he's the character you're gonna be playing the most as in the story mode. Anyway, let's go! I am the holy warrior! Know my might! Also, he's kind of a pompous asshole. Alright, let's do this. Up first is some guy wielding a sword and a lance. He is not one of the series' main characters, instead he's just a random opponent made using the customization engine thingy. And there we go, we beat him. However, there are still two more guys for me to fight. Pretty much every episode in this story is either one fight with three rounds, or like three fights with one round each. 
Up next is a guy with a giant axe. And apparently they are really not putting up much of a fight. Also, I am pretty much incapable of pulling off any complicated combos in this fighting game as well. Because this game has the dreaded diagonal inputs that I hate oh so much. Also, I have gotten better at this game since recording this. But uh, when I was recording this, I didn't really know what the hell I was doing. So, uh, bear with me here. Anyways, I won. Malfested vermin have no right to live. Now that's a bit harsh, ain't it? You're pale and filthy. You must be a Malfested as well. No, my lord. I am not one of them. Is that so? How unfortunate there's no way to prove it. <laughs> Splendid work as always, Patroclus. Very well done indeed, I am impressed. It is my honor to establish order in your name, Graf Duma. <laughs> there will be no order as long as Soul Edge and those abominations the Malfested exist. Such vile creatures. But I was again unable to find the Malfested with the Ringblade, my lord. Ah, yes. The Malfested that kidnapped your sister. Yes, my lord. You had said that she would be in Erdenberg. Search Klausenberg next. My informants suggest you do so. I shall leave at once, my lord. Hmm, the Graf is a real shady character, but... Damn, Patroclus, you racist. I mean, oh, you must be a Malfested because you're pale and filthy. And that's... Yeah. That's just racial stereotyping, man. And who knows, maybe the guy wasn't even a Malfested. Stand aside. So you're that rampaging murderer, Patroclus Alexander. Who are you calling a murderer? He's a Malfested. They're not even human. They're demons that have sold their souls to the devil. They've taken my sister and killed my mother. What's wrong in avenging these crimes? Okay, so now he's judging an entire group of people based on the acts of one single person who killed his mother and kidnapped his sister. That's like, uh, a black guy robbed me in the middle of the night. I must now kill all black guys. It's like, what the hell, man? That's just wrong. Seriously. That's like redneck wrong. It's like... Oh, yeah, all Muslims must die because they committed 9-11. Or because a few Muslims committed 9-11. Or maybe it was an inside job by the Jews. I don't know, there's plenty of theories about that. Anyways, now we're fighting against a mysterious bloke who looks kind of evil. I mean, come on. Does that outfit scream, oh, look, I'm a good guy? Not really. I mean, the big, fluffy thing around his neck is like, ugh, screams evil to me. And his name's Swai. Sounds German. And it looks like it's an acronym for something, who knows what, I have no clue. But I'm kinda kicking his ass because this Swai is pretty much a neutered version of his regular moveset. And hey, I tore his top off. At last, you understand how weak you are. You know, Patroclus is a huge dick. Huh. 
Now you've asked for it. What? Nothing's gonna change as long as you're under Dumas' thumb. Did he ever actually give you any clue as to your sister's whereabouts? What do you know about her? Ooh, Swai is pretty mysterious. Also, I'm pretty sure by now you're wondering the same thing that I am. Why the hell are some of the, like, inner episode cutscenes actual cutscenes and others are just plain stills with spoken dialogue? I have no clue why. I mean, everything would be a lot better if it was just full motion cutscenes all the time. A man stopped you? Yes. He possessed strange powers and commanded some kind of a monster. Zvi, damn that cursed werewolf. You know of him, my lord. Is he a Malfested? That man stands in the way of ridding the world of the Malfested. Get rid of him! He seemed to know about my sister. My lord, does he have something to do with her? You just need to kill those I say to kill. I have served you faithfully and done everything you've asked. Yet you have made no effort to search for my sister. It seems you are unable to obey my orders. I've had enough. Leave my sight at once and never return. A dog such as you has no business making demands. I'm no dog. I am a holy warrior! How absurd. You are nothing more than a dog. I couldn't care less about what happened to a pathetic dog's family. She's probably already dead in some alley. So you've lied to me all this time! Don't walk away, you coward! Get rid of him. So, Zwei is a werewolf? The hell? Oh god, it reminds me of Twilight. That's not a good thing. Anyway, Patroclus is betrayed by Graf Duma, and Graf Duma sends some kind of wacky guy to take Patroclus out. Do you mean to interfere? No, I think he's just here to say hello because he's such a nice guy. With his spider face cod piece. Ugh. Anyway, meet series veteran Voldo. He's basically been a playable character ever since the first Soul game in like 96 or 97. So he's been around for quite a while and some facts about Voldo. First of all, he is like 60 something years old. Just look at how he moves. No 60 year old man. Hell, no man should be able to move like that. It's just creepy as all hell. And also, he is a Malfasted. Why Graf Dumas, Mr. Get Rid of the Malfasted, has a Malfasted as his personal bodyguard? I don't know. But yeah, in this game, basically Voldo's role is as Graf Dumas' bodyguard. Now, admittedly, he's never had much backstory in any of the previous games. But, uh, this has to be a new low for him. Anyways, down he goes. Poor Voldo. Damn it! He's gotten away! And we will go after Graf Dumas in the next episode of Soul Calibur V. Hope you liked it. Hope you're excited for the rest of it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.